G'day guys, welcome to my RX Plus feature video. Today I'm going to be talking to you guys about NRL's Round Lines recap preview for 2022. Guys, let's get started. So starting off with that first game of that match, we see the Rabbitohs going up against the Broncos now, 32 to 12. Um, for the Broncos win this game was absolutely instrumental um, the Broncos really had it like with a chance and I just didn't think they were going to win against like the Bron um, the Rabbitohs but that game was just absolutely very tough very hard but the Rabbitohs aren't really a good football team at the moment like with obviously like um with having like Adam Riddles and then like Cody Walker clashing together. Um obviously like Adam Riddles the former like Rabido player going up against this old club. Um <clears throat> I could see that the Broncos were really on top of their form but the Rabbitohs, they were struggling so much with their attack and their defence, like encouraging them not to score. But obviously, day two to twelve, like it was just the Broncos basically scoring like so much points, and then yeah, it wasn't really good at the moment but I think Selwood Kobo scored like the length of the field try um, yeah it was just very good to see him play um, he's obviously like a very good player I rate him um, but yeah it was just very good um, very good game and yeah the Broncos obviously made a really good win so yeah Broncos did win and obviously uh, the Rabbitohs they struggled in that game 32 to 12 win for the Broncos to win the next game of that match we see the Raiders going up against the Bulldogs now another team that can't get a win at the moment for the Bulldogs um, they are a really good football team but unfortunately though with them um, only getting on top of their form, they're not making a like an effort against the Raiders. But it was fourteen to four. Um, wasn't a very good game, and I heard that a couple of tries were disallowed um, in that match. So obviously um, things didn't go their way. But obviously, like Josh had a car. To make a length of the field try and then apparently he knocked on the ball so yeah there was no try so it was pretty disappointing for him not to score um and then obviously another try was this layout and then in the final moments um one of the raiders um players obviously scored that try and then yeah that happened and then the starting of the score line happened so yeah it was just very odd and very strange but yeah what can you do really it was just a very tough game the Raiders aren't very good at the moment with like so many players out um especially Jared Croker he is out um I'm not too sure when he'll be back but he'll probably be out for the season um again so Wait and see if that will happen, but you never know, he could be back to play. But yeah, it was a very good game by the Raiders to basically win against the Bulldogs. But yeah, 14 to 4, very good game by the Raiders. The next game of that match, we see the Panthers going up against the Parramatta Eels. Now, I was there with Entertain House, so go and check that out. Um, it's up on YouTube now, so go check that out. I did a vlog there, so yeah, obviously go and check it out. Um, if you guys subscribe to my YouTube channel, go and check it out. I've obviously uh, done a vlog 
uh, for you guys. But anyway, um, yeah. What can I say? That game was absolutely very brutal, very hard, very tough, and very tight game that really did hit the mark. And obviously this game was just absolutely tough to see the Panthers making a really good effort. But then starting with the Panthers that made a 21 winning streak and then ending with that 21 winning streak of a loss against the Parramatta Eels, that just ends with that streak anyway. So luckily for us, we did make a win by two points, 22 to 20. That game was absolutely tight, but yeah, down in Penrith, very cold, humid, but one of the most toughest games that I've ever seen. I literally did think that the Panthers were gonna get on, on top to make a really good win. But then, I just cannot believe how the Parramatta Eels played in that game. Very, very good by them. And I'm so proud of you guys. Credit to you guys. Made a very good effort. Made a very good win. And yeah, well done for you guys. Only win by two points, 22 to 20. The next game of that match, we see the Manly Seagulls going up against the West Tigers. Now 36 to 22, very close game it was. Not very close, but very close margin. I literally think that the West Tigers were going to get over the line, but West, uh, well, basically the Manly Seagulls did get, get over the line, and they made a very good effort, made a very good win, and yeah, like they are a very good uh, football team at the moment. But yeah, it was very tough to see this game to play in a very good mood by the Manly Seagulls. Um, but to see that play, um, the Manly Seagulls made a very good effort. Uh, Daly Cherry Evans did score, uh, I think it was only one or two, but I'm not exactly too sure. I think it was only one um, by a chance. So yeah, it was just made that very equal. Um, but the West Tigers, though, they are trying their best. I feel so sorry for you guys. You guys are very good. Um, you guys are very good in um, their attack and their defense. But fortunately, another loss for you guys. And, you know, there's nothing really more much to say in that um, style of form. But... Yeah, it was just very tough, very hard. And obviously you guys made a very good effort, but yeah, it was just another one that didn't really, yeah, equal by them. But anyway, well done from the Manly Seagulls, making a really good effort against the West Tigers, 36 to 22. The next game of that match, we see the Roosters going up against the Titans. Now, very big and a very big win. 44 to 16. Wow. Very big scoreline. Massive big scoreline. I didn't expect for the Roosters to make a very big win against the Gold Coast Titans. That was absolutely one of the most big wins. And usually the Roosters don't play a very um, like big win, but it was very tough to see that the Roosters made a very good win. And unfortunately though, the Gold Coast Titans, you guys obviously did score a couple of tries, but not made it over the line and not made a big win. But it was very tough, very hard, and obviously it was very excruciating 
and nothing really more much to say about this club the Gold Coast Times I was thinking that the Gold Coast Times were gonna make a very good effort in the season but they're not at the moment and seeing that it's just very disappointing but seeing that it's like saying to like the Gold Coast Titans they've obviously got like very good players and AJ Brimson like and all that they've been absolutely very good but they are played a bit poor at the moment um, so not really much to say about it but very big win by the Roosters 44 to 16 against the Gold Coast Titans the next game of that match, we see the Cowboys going up against the Knights. Now, this game was very tough uh, by the Cowboys, 36 to 16. Well, can't really say big scoreline, but it was kind of like a big scoreline in that match. But by that, the Newcastle Knights, unfortunately, you guys are sitting in the 16th position where the Canary, though, well, the Bulldogs were, but now the Newcastle Knights are sitting in the 16th position now. <sighs> Very disappointing by this team to see that it's like how the way you guys are but the Newcastle Knights, I'm not going to say any disappointing things. But you guys are a very good team. I know you guys are struggling so bad. But unfortunately though, I just have to say, I just have to say that you guys are playing poor. Really, really, really poor. But at the moment... They're trying their best, equalising with their defence and their attack kind of well. But yeah, not much to say about it. But the Cowboys are a very top team. Cannot believe you guys are sitting in a top 8 position. But usually you guys are sitting like in 11th or 12th position. But very surprising. Anyway, 36-16, very big win by the Cowboys to make it a very good win against the Newcastle Knights. The next game of that match, we see the Storm going up against the Dragons. Now, wow. Another big win by the Melbourne Storm. 42-6. to This is a record by the Melbourne Storm. First up was... 70 points to 10. Um, another one was 52 to 16 or something like that. And then now, 42 to 6. Big wins. And I mean, big wins by the Melbourne Storm. They're just very tough to like win they're very tough and i could see that the melbourne storm didn't make a really good effort and they obviously did but for the dragons they didn't make a very good win and they were very poor in their defense and their attack also too with the melbourne storm charging down the dragons and just tormenting the dragons it was very tough and i mean it was absolute very tough and i just had to think that if the dragons were going to make an effort which they didn't it was going to be very tough for them. 
but another easy win by the Melbourne Storm to make a very good win against the Dragons. 42-6. But yeah, I just don't have much to say about the Dragons anyway. And finally, the next game of that match, we see the Sharks going up against the Warriors. Now, 29-10. to Very tough win. And the Sharks, they are another hard team to beat. They're very tough, like I did say about the Melbourne Storm and the Panthers. They're a very tough team to beat. But going up against the Warriors, though, they didn't want the Sharks to make a very big win. Because obviously, um, the Warriors has um, Sean Johnson in it, but well, obviously going up against his former club, the Sharks. Um, yeah, it was very tough for him, but obviously it was just detrimental. But for that, the Sharks, there was two, um, no, obviously, one was a sent off and the other one was a sim bin. William Kennedy William Kennedy clotheslined Reese Walsh and then Jesse Ramian did a bit of a high tackle. So yeah. Disappointing and very disappointing. But obviously Jesse Ramian will be out um for I think a couple of weeks and then obviously William Kennedy will be out for three or four weeks and then he is facing like heavy bands so yeah William Kennedy is out um, but I'm not going to spoil it uh, further for you guys um, in my next video I will say uh, who's going to be there for to replace William Kennedy anyway so yeah it was a very tough win for the Sharks to get the job done against the Warriors, but yeah, luckily they win um, the, uh, the Sharks 29 to 10 against the Warriors. Thanks guys for watching my video guys, so stay tuned for more. I'll be doing a couple of videos coming to you guys soon. Also, I'll be doing more videos coming to you guys soon, so stay tuned for more. Plus leave a like and subscribe to my YouTube channel and for this video, and I'll see you guys for the next video. Till then, take care guys, stay safe, and have a good one. Plus let's go up to 300 subscribers, see you on 254 anyway, so let's go up to that, and I'll see you guys next time, take care.